Hello, Evil Softman here, back for another vid. Alright, this is going to be a pickups vid. Just a small one. It's a cheeky one. But I went to Cash Converters the other day and picked up two PS2 games. They do have a quite offer on, but my money funds at the moment is a bit slack. I've basically spent a lot on like accommodation for Amicon and getting transport to Download Festival, which is in about two weeks. Can't wait. Seriously, it's going to be awesome. But, yeah, I have no money. <laughs> so, it's playing fucking hindrance at the moment. Um, but I found these for like two quid each, and I thought, well, that's pretty nice to be picking up. So, um, we've just... Basically, the first one is Total Overdose on the PS2. And this is fully complete. Let's open this up. There we go. Right, this game is kind of like a sandbox style. It's very like uh, Grand Theft Auto in that case, but except it's like the fun has turned up. Well, saying that, San Andreas and Vice City were quite like that as well. But, but it's over, it's OTT over the top with like a lot of uh, Mexican stereotypical overtones. So everybody's like in big sombreros and you get the big, you get big massive combos for hitting stuff and everything. And you're getting, like, you're putting on the Mexican wrestling masks, and basically, you can, you go and stampede and start slamming people and everything when you're in that, or you get the guitar cases with the guns inside it, so you're stuck swinging it around, shooting people and everything, but it is a hell of a lot of fun, it's just something to switch off and just plow through and just enjoy yourself, and that's exactly what it is, it's a pretty good, it's a decent game for two quid. The other game is Final Fantasy 12. Now, I didn't really want to pick this up at the time. I wasn't too honestly keen. I haven't really, really enjoyed a Final Fantasy game since 9 on the PS1. But then again, I never really played much of 10. Never got 10 to. Was never going to try 11 because it's MMO. So, well, here we go. Back with 12. Um, but... The interesting thing is here, it has one good point which I liked and one bad point. One of the good point is really it's real-time uh, fighting. So it's no going hit something and then you're into a menu to fight where it's all in real time. So if you see something, you'll start attacking it. And you have to put like a strand over to the person and say, well, this is what I want to attack. Another thing is it's no random battles because everything's there. So you cannot run things if you really want to, which... I find given the choice is always a good thing. It's like a Pokemon. You could always see if you want to get around a lot of people, you probably could. There's some you had to fight, but there was most of the times you could get around it. I've always thought it's better to give you the choice than keep on getting random battles. Like, you know, if you went in the bushes, you were pretty fucked. But if you're like going in a trainer battle, trainers and everything. The bad point, I feel, is that the spheres really allow you to create basically every character being the same They're, because you'll stock you can make them anything you'll always try and make them kind of how you play and maybe one different maybe one be a healer or something but you won't really diversify as much as you would as when it's pre-made for you like say nine or something when you had Zidane which is basically your sword guy you well that and Steiner and then you had Garnet as your healer Vivi as your black mage, and you had the dragon land. I can't remember what her, what she was called. I had dragon lands and everything, but I. Right. So, but they're predefined, and I quite like that. I don't know if I'm gonna like this in twelve that you can really change around and muck around if people start to make them basically what you want. I think that's taking the foot too much. I feel sometimes when it gives you too much freedom, you don't know what to do with it, and it's if it's more focused, you seem to drive yourself forward. Or maybe that's just me in my case of games. But all right, the last thing is me and Cyberlanky have picked up one of these dazzled DVD recorders. Now this was picked up for a very good reason. It was picked up to make the gameplay footage better. Basically, I'm getting quite annoyed a lot of the time where. A, I'm having to fix things because of the light in this room. The light in this room is pretty terrible, to be fairly honest. Um, and especially with dark games, Dead Space Extraction seems to come to mind quite a fair bit. And 
it's very, it, that one I had to really turn around the darkness because the light was looking so tight you could hardly make out anything that was in the video um, even in the final finished one it didn't look great so I thought if I could rip this straight from the console and then maybe put me in a separate camera feed at the in a, like a small box at the bottom like playing along so you know just to make it a a little bit more professional and b give you a better look at the game i don't want you to just like think straining and looking at it and think well it looks all right but if i played the game you'd look you'd see it a bit differently or something the problem is we haven't really figured out how to use it to well, the way we want it yet but we will strive on i think we'll probably figure it out in the next few days and then we'll have a few uh, probably test footage up of that and see what people think I do like putting the video up and showing like this is a system, this is what I'm using it on, this is real. Whereas if you're using the capture device, it is kind of like you could be using an emulated copy and no one's going to know. This is why I kind of want the camera in this bottom of the screen so I show you I'm using a proper controller and I can show off the game box and everything right at the bottom just to really show you that. But yeah, we'll figure it out in the next few days, I think, and see how we go with that. The other last thing is we've had uh, mixing around a little bit in the living room. We've moved a little bit about, got everything's working. We took some of the plugs out of some of the consoles just because we weren't using them that much. And if when we want to use them, we'll plug them back in and basically we'll use them as we need them rather than have them all plugged in and just wasting electricity for no good reason. Um... I've been really disappointed in myself by we've not really recorded anything for the 200 video. We're basically closer to calling this a 250 subscriber video now. And it's annoying. I myself, I, I have a great habit of really saying stuff and then not actually doing it, which is a nasty habit. The outline is completely drawn up. We could probably write, I could probably write it down in a bit more detail, but really and honestly, it's not too bad we'll just get it if we just get one day we'll just crack it out i feel that'll be the best way just to film all of it but the way we're thinking about we're going to film it like different sections like different day and then try and patch it all together um because it's going to be kind of well i'm not going to spoil it so that's going to be coming soon i'm going to do a gameplay vid with just the normal ps3 camera tomorrow i have a feeling it's going to be pokemon stadium i'm going to show you off the mini games of pokemon stadium so, all right, and I've lost the controller. Turn this off. All right, see how this throwing this together. What time is it? Half twelve. Yeesh. Right, this evil soft man. <laughs>